Uh, so let's um, let's talk about squirting. <laughs> Hot topic. A lot of people do not Speaking believe that it hydration. is a thing. It is a uh, fake, and it is just girls peeing everywhere. Um, what is your opinion on that? I think there's a little pee, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, but no. I mean, I think I would feel like people would have to ask my male talents that have worked with me. Um, the feeling that they feel when they're inside me and when it comes out, they're like, it's not coming out where you pee. They're like, it's, it's like, your, 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 yeah, and you can just feel like the tension, like in the buildup, mm -hmm. and it's almost like an ejaculation. Mm -hmm. um, it also always, it doesn't taste like pee. I've mm -hmm. tasted it, so I'm like, I always, Chefs always have to taste their <laughs> taste their meals. <laughs> that leads me to like ask how you feel okay, <laughs> how you feel about cum. Oh, I always swallow. But like, will oh. you be afterwards? You be like, mm, too much coffee. Mm. Like, do you honestly? <laughs> I've had more experiences tasting. <sighs> I feel like men in the industry actually take care of themselves better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I feel like they want to do a better job and they like, like every male talent I work with at least goes to the gym every day, yeah. drinks eats water, well. eats well. Yeah. Cause like, it's, I mean, no matter- I mean, I'm sure there's ones out there, but, but- I mean, here's the thing. Like I know that people tend to sometimes laugh when I say this, but this is true. Like. Porn stars are athletes. They're oh, sexual athletes. That's like, what I mean. You have to treat your body like, yeah, like that. You had sex with Tyler for three fucking hours. You think that's that, why. Like, Tyler could do that if he sat on his ass and ate Cheetos all day. No. And like, you know, like guys. The boy surfs. They, like he does. Yeah, yeah. They have to be able to be in good shape mm -hmm. to have just the ability to do the scene, right? Like it's a very physical thing. And yeah. then they have to also be able to get their dick hard. Yeah. Which is like a whole like next level of physical exertion. Every time I do a strap on scene. <laughs> you have more respect for the guys. I'm always yeah. like, cause a lot of times I'll just do it for OnlyFans, but I've done some for like adult time too mm. here and there. And every time I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> holding. Like yeah. having a whole, and I'm like, I'm also, it's not like I'm actually getting pleasure out of it. Nope. So I'm really just like, wow, you guys like do this? And you also, because the thing is, I'm doing it and there's no way I'm gonna come. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, the fact that these guys have to do that and if it feels good, yeah, or if it feels not that good, like they have to like gracefully shift or like not come. Like, yeah, you have to. Yeah, if it feels not that They're good, the you most, still have to stay hard. Yeah, and then you and have to stay hard. And if it feels too hard. good, you have to not come. Yeah, so I'm always like, the most underrated job, I think, is male performers. Oh my God, I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a lot for females, like, in what we put our bodies through. But again, I'm like, I treat my body like an athlete, like I get massages, I do infrared sauna, I get mm -hmm. IV drips, I try to take care of myself as well as I can because it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like I've I've had, which again, it's not always women's fault, but definitely I'm like, I take so many pro probiotics, apple cider vinegar, like to have a healthy gut and healthy area. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I've had more experiences where I taste a girl and I'm like, like, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna spit on it and just hope, like, <laughs> just do this. Yeah. yeah. And, but a lot, of, I don't think I've ever had a bad experience where I'd be like, mm. yeah, you too much Red Bull. <laughs> like, <laughs> so far. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. it's, it's harder. I think for women, it's harder to take care of their vaginas because mm -hmm. there's, especially when you're having sex with people with different pH balances and there's that, a lot of things yeah, that go, so that's why can go like, wrong and not every woman knows how to take care of their body yeah and it's different for everybody yeah because I know you know I'll ask veterans like what their what their method is and it'll be different 
oh yeah girl to girl and yeah. you'd be like this is what works for me mm-hmm. i tried the thing that this other person does did not work for me so you yeah. have to figure out what works for your body and it could take a while yeah and no, some people sure. are more sensitive than others and that like i am not prone to utis but i know girls mm-hmm. who are yeah and a lot of times those girls are would rather shoot anal and i'm always like that's crazy but then i'm like oh wait no utis are yeah. awful like but also like anal is easier for some girls than so, yeah sex, that's, depending on the makeup of like your, your yeah body. yeah that's true yeah i it's not for me but <laughs> <laughs> i like it but it's like it's yeah i think i like it because it feels more animalistic mm. that's the only time i like it but that's why i like it every once in a while mm-hmm. versus i could not i don't think i could be a anal performer mm-hmm where it's like your thing and you yeah. do it a lot. Yeah. Like I would be very shocked if I ever get an award for an anal scene. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean, so you we'll see. Know. <laughs> never know. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you feel like you have a porn persona, or do you think that you're pretty authentic- authentically like yourself? In I'm me. Like I'm. I do my OnlyFans. I do all my social media and, like, <laughs> why I haven't hired someone is I'm like. I'm so much me that I don't know if I can even train someone how to respond like I do um, or post stuff like I do. So I have yet to, it would have to be like probably like a friend, honestly. Mm-hmm. At first I thought that would be bad, but now I'm like, I don't know who else knows me in my yeah. voice and I'm very much me. Yeah, I I remember gay in the industry and like I mean I see so many people who make probably so much more money doing that for sure but I just was like eh I don't (laughs) I don't have the energy it's already a lot to like do the acting part and I love acting but I want that to be a job I don't want to be like every day of my life with um my social media presence yeah so yeah, I mean, who else is going to make poop jokes about Indian food? Exactly. I'm like, Dave Rock didn't like it, but... <laughs> but there there were some people out there who did. Yeah, I'm like, I'm still here. I'm still kicking it. I think at the end of the day, people always appreciate authenticity. Yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm like, it's honestly, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I'm like, I just don't have the energy. Like, yeah. like, because I know so many girls who... They knew what their porn name was going to be. They knew, like, they even, like, would maybe lie about their age or lie about their backstory. I'm like, I don't really want to be anyone else. Yeah. I'm pretty, I've been me for so long that. Yeah, but, I mean, there's probably people who look to get into the industry because they want to be somebody else. And that's why, too. And I get that. And I also know a lot of times that's probably, like, a defense mechanism or something yeah. there's like something there you know there's something yeah. that they that's like they feel like okay I can become this character now and that person is like mm-hmm. tucked away and I don't have to deal with all that trauma mm-hmm. and this so yeah it's you gotta a deal with the different, trauma eventually yeah it didn't come up and bite you in the ass at yeah some point. but different strokes for different folks this is true so um 